Hey guys, this is Rob with Vapor Street again. Well, I got my, I got my, built my, uh, my DNA 30 mod right here. I finally got it built today. <clears throat> got the chip in today. Decided, go, what, what the hell, go ahead and build the thing. So yeah, anyway, here it is. Got the nice little screen right there. I know I didn't do 100% perfect with that, but it's pretty close. You can see it there. Like I say, you can see the battery and resistance, the voltage down there and the wattage. And there's the USB charging port right there, micro USB. I got that hole a little bit bigger so I can see the lights in there. So I can make sure it's charged when I plug it in it turns lights up red and got a green light and stuff in there to let me know if it's charged and charged or and charging got a nice chrome stainless steel button right there firing button I got my up and down buttons right there work good see it there's my up and down crank it up my up buttons on top bottom buttons on the bottom down buttons on bottom let's crank this up so you can see that it's 30 watts just hold that in and let it go wide open there you go you can see it is 30 watts and this the ohms is flashing so it'll still fire even if the thing's flashing, it'll still fire. See, it still fires. They say it'll still fire, but uh, even if it's got just flashes to tell you low, there it is. Now I went back to, now it's all right there. Crank this back down. One point five ohm coil at thirty watts. Does, hey, don't taste good. So it says, if I hit the fire button, you can see it. It'll come up zero volts right now. I hit it. it says three point seven volts. One point five ohm coil at eight watts. I crank this wattage up. I crank this wattage up. Now the ohms quits quits blinking. Ooh, that's warm vape. So the higher you crank the watts, it show you the voltage to go up also. So I go up to yeah. So so at fifteen point seven watts, it's pushing five volts. So. I say with this little pro tank here, 1.5 ohm coil, it's better in the lower range. I do have a Sony VTC, VCT4 30 amp high drain battery in here, and you can tell it's fully charged. Fully charged. But yeah. Like I say I put all my buttons on this one side so to lock this thing you click the power button five times real quick now now it's locked now I can't 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 do anything with it can't change anything but now if I want to uh, flip the screen around I can hold the power button and the up button 
and just hold that in. I'm in the left mode now. Now I'm in the right mode. See now it's upside down. Let's put it back. It's in the right mode. Now it's in the left mode. Now it's back to right side up for me. So that way I can look at it like this. I can change my up, up will be on top, my up, down, be on bottom. So I can look at it like this and change it. I'm right handed so I hold it with my right hand. But if you use left handed, you can put it over here, flip it around, change the screen over. So every time you want to do it, get into a new setting, you have to lock it first. So let's do it again, go five. Now let's do the down and the, the fire button and the down button. That's normal mode. Now it's stealth mode. So now the screen's blank, save on battery. Let's click it, unlock it. So now it's in stealth mode. It's firing. No screen. So now it's in stealth mode. So let's lock it back. Let's lock it back up. Take it back out of stealth mode. That's the fire button and the down button at the same time and hold them. Put it in normal mode. Unlock it. Now it's a uh, so every time you hit, the, it's kind of dim right now, but every time you hit the fire button, it brightens up. It gets brighter as you hit the fire button. But that's the whole box right there. It's got four screws in the back. Button. This is, this is cast, cast box heavy duty that nice 510 threads on it that nice 510 threads stick out so you can put anything on there and have nice airflow nice and smooth threads like I say this is a 1.5 coil then we're going to take this aero tank put it on there so you can see it change, change resistance. Then you got to read the resistance. You got to hit the fire button once. There it is. This says this is a 2.0 coil. There you go, 2.0 coil. We'll crank up the watts on this. Need more. We'll put it up to 10 watts on this. And she chucks the vapor. Higher watts. Let's take it up to maybe 20. Let's take it up to 20. 20 watts. Man, look at that vapor production off this DNA. I mean, this is a regulated device, so it constantly puts out the right amount of voltage all the time. It's showing 6.4 volts at 20 watts. Let's crank it up 30. See what kind of voltage it says. There we're at 30 watts now. 30 watts. Seven point seven volts. Just small hits. I mean, that's a warm vape. Man, the flavor you just get so so much stronger flavor at the higher wattage.
So yeah, I tried to put a 0.3 ohm sub ohm coil on there out of my Nimbus. Out of this right here, off the Sentinel, you got the Nimbus here, the RBA. I put it on there. This is a 0.3. It comes up shorted. So it won't read it at 30 watts. It says it's a 3.5 ohm coil. Now, I don't know what the lowest, the lowest or the, the smallest sub ohm you can do on it. A one, one, uh, point nine or point eight maybe. I'll have to play with it some more and try it. But no matter where it's at, it go all the way down to seven watts is the lowest it'll go. Seven watts. Still, still won't fire. Still says shorted. So I do know it won't go down to 0.3 sub ohms. This is a dual super nano coil at 0.3 ohms. I think it's 0.3 or it might be lower, it might only be 0.2. So, man, that's good juice. That's that blue move from Mount Baker Vapor. That's good juice. So we'll put the Pro Tank back on it. The original Pro Tank. Hit it at 7 watts. Good vapor production at 7 watts with the flavors a little dull. Crank it up to 10. Whew. 10, yeah, that's max on this for flavor wise. Yeah, anyway, like I say, I just wanted to show that I got my DNA 30 chip in from Evolve. There's the chip right there. It says Evolve 30D. And I got this from uh, the House of Vapors is where this came from. The House of Vapors, they were sold out. I just kept trying and trying and they finally, they had them in stock. And Man, it, I got it within like a couple days, two, three days. It was fast shipping. And that's the House of Vapors. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can go there and see if they got them or not. Another thing with this is, as you just let it sit there, it'll start it'll start getting dimmer, and then it'll go in in uh, in uh, sleep mode after a couple minutes. That way, it saves on your battery. And if you're going to do any sub ohm point eight or anything with these, you need to get the high drain thirty amp VTC four or something like that. If you're going to do it, I think this I think you can do point seven ohm coils from what I hear. I'll have to try it. But, and also we got them uh, batteries in here for you to give away. Look at that. There it is. There's the battery. It says 4,500 milliamp hour batteries from Ultrafire. 4,500 milliamp hours. Let's put the tank on there. There you go. See that proves them batteries do work. 4,500 milliamp hour batteries. They will be shipped with the with the cases. Got one in each one. Got the blue winter green and you got the 
the peppermint. It's got a 4500 battery in it too. 4500 milliamp hours. It lasts you all day. So don't forget though, this is our giveaway we got right now. Make sure you, you got to be subscribed, like the video, and leave a comment. Tell me which one you want and the reason why you want them. Alright, till next time.